What's up everybody today, TrueNAS has dropped the 25.01, 25.04.1 release. So if you guys are looking at your dashboards right now, your blue buttons will probably see this big updates available thing. So if you click that, you'll see that the Fangtooth train, if that's the train that you're on, is now going from 25.04.0 to 25.04.1. So let's talk about what that means for you guys and talk about how to do this update if you've never updated before. If you guys follow the podcast that uh, Chris Moore puts out, Chris Moore works at IX Applications, IX Systems, and uh, he is one of the main guys for TrueNAS that's been interfacing with the community. He will tell you that something like 132, 139, 190-something uh, fixes have gone into this. Uh, the big reason that this is kind of a big deal, this point one update, are for people that really like the the real stability of TrueNOS. So for example, when you go to a point zero release, you're getting the brand new, even though it's been pretty well tested, um, fresh updates. So for people that are like, hey, I can't risk my NAS going down, they usually wait for the point one update, especially enterprise users always wait for the point one update. So this is kind of a big deal for them because you're going to see a lot more updates of people going from electric eel to 25.04.1 than probably electric eel to 25.04.0 for stability purposes. But if you've never done this before, what you want to do is you want to apply your pending update. You definitely want to export your password sequence seed and save configuration. I'm not going to do that because it's just a test server, but you want to click the big blue button. Uh, and then after that, this is going to restart. I'm going to click ahead and confirm and continue. So now this is going to update. Uh, and in the background, I'm going to go and talk about the release notes while this happens. So these are the release notes. And again, you can always get to these by clicking the check release notes thing back here. So when you go to the release notes, there's only a couple things I want to point out. Uh, first off, this is the notable change to 25.04.1. They've changed the share ACLs and the remove support for both, which is important for people that are having issues with your ACLs for shares. Um, the instances, this is the big thing here. You'll see these, all these um, bullet points here refer to the instances tab. And instances is obviously where the big push is going to be. So the first thing is that it allows the same host path to be mounted inside multiple containers. That's big because passing host paths into LXCs are a really cool thing to do. I like it a lot. I use it with my Qubit LXC right now. It's pretty amazing. Um, so there's some out of memory issues that people were having that were causing VM crashes. That's been fixed. Um, the screen, for instance, itself has been fixed. This is a huge one. Add a synthetic container root user. This adds a built-in unprivileged root user for containers. That's this one right here, TrueNAS Container Unpriv Root. This account can be used in permissions related to APIs, UI forms to grant permissions aligned to root in VMs and containers. This is a big deal, especially for me, because what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to script in the ability to mount, like say for example, your configs data set. So when you have like your mount tank configs data set, I want to be able to mount that inside an LXC and run my Docker containers there for some people. The problem with that I've been having is the privileges have just been a nightmare. Uh, and, and I haven't gotten it to work. And I've been waiting for this because what I think I need to do is make sure that the unprivileged root user can be mapped to the host correctly in order to the point where you can pass in your um, configs directory so you can run, say, for example, radar or sonar inside an LXC, but keep its configuration file on TrueNOS in your like, uh, mount tank configs folder and have everything work with permissions. That's kind of a big deal. So uh, there's a few other things in here. Error, hand error handling's been fixed. Accidental deletion of IMAP entries have been fixed and validation for removing ZVOL some instances. So this is a bunch of other stuff here that's been fixed. Um, you'll see that here. Long story short, this is mainly a stability improvement and then these things for the instances, these, this, these block of bullet points here, which is great because instances needs work. So let's come back over to TrueNOS right now. It's, uh, it's updating Grub, it's about to be finished and I'm gonna jump back in when it's done and we'll poke around a little bit. Okay, we are back and you can see here that now it shows there is no update necessary. So when I go to dashboard here, you'll see my version is 25.04.1. Everything is the same, everything is working. Let's see what my alert is. Oh yeah, there's just, I've got a lot of updates to do here. Again, this is just a test box. I don't take super good care of this. Uh, my user, my capacity is pretty big. Data sets are here. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen in the event something goes wrong with what's going on with you. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go over to system uh, and then boot. So you'll see here, I've got a bunch of other things here I need to delete because I've updated this machine a bunch of times. But in the event that 25.04.1 went wrong for you, you're gonna to wanna to come over here and you're gonna to wanna to check this little thing that says activate, this little badge with the check mark. If I click this activate and then restart the server, it's gonna kick me back to 25.04.0. So that's always how I can revert just in case something happens. So I have all these other ones here too. I have to get rid of, I don't need any of them. I'm just gonna keep the last two 
just like that, because these are taking up space on my virtual hard disk, which is not huge. So in the event that something happens, you could always come back in here and revert. But you guys shouldn't see any major changes. You shouldn't see any major instabilities. In fact, this should be a very, very stable part for you guys. All my apps are still running. As we see here, Dockage is still running. Everything is still going, and I exited these before, so that's the way it's supposed to look. Everything's fine. So if you're one of those guys that's like, hey, I'm scared to do this update, you can watch me do it first, and here you go. Everything's working just fine. Um, I know I have to update all these things. What I want Trunos to do is allow me to update these things when they're stopped. That would be great, uh, but it doesn't, unfortunately. I have to start these containers to update them. But everything else is going great. So this is a really quick video on updates. So if you guys see 25.04.1, go right ahead and update. You're gonna wanna do that. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing a video in the next few days talking about the major changes to apps that are coming. Um, and that's for the update that's gonna be for electric eel users and for the uh, assignable IP addresses per app. So that's a really cool video that's coming. I recommend you guys like and subscribe to the channel so when that comes out, you can be immediately notified. If you have any questions about this, please leave any comments in the discussion below. If you have very technical comments, please leave them in Discord. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting what we do here at Servers at Home. And if you want to say thank you to me personally, please buy me a coffee.